Hello, hello. Welcome back. Uh, my name is Zeep. You're watching Zeep Nation, and today we're playing Grimshire, um, an early access game, as you can see from the little warning down here. Um, it is not out yet. It's planned to release in 2025, I believe. Uh, new game, I suppose. Never played this game before, but from what I can tell, it's a uh, Stardew Valley mixed with animals mixed with a uh, graveyard keeper uh so it seems real cool uh there's no randomized feature though uh zeep this is me more species coming soon oh i'll do fox doesn't change anything does it Oh, I see. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah. Can I just randomize this? I wish I could randomize. I hate actually picking outfits for the most part. What's going on? It's the middle of the night. Quickly. Get the healer. I have two injured people on board. Let me a paw and help me carry them out. Ooh. Wah. What's going on, Finn? You woke up the whole vi village with this bastard, Foghorn? Who are these people? They don't look so good. Mayor Theo, I barely escaped from the capital. A huge fire broke out. I was asleep in my cabin and awoke to howl and screaming. These two were only ones I could save before the flames overtook the docks. And I was forced to set sail. That's terrible. What happened? Was the capital under attack? No. I... I don't know what's going on at the capital. I could hardly see or smell anything through the smoke. Out of my way. The scout woman is seriously injured. Carry her to my house and be gentle. Her wounds are deep. The fox looks okay, but let's bring her inside out of the rain. Mayor Theo, Finn, what happened? Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. Take it easy. You're safe now. What is your name? Nice to meet you, Zeep. I'm Hazel, the healer. You're inside my home in the village of Grimshire. We're a small village isolated by the water and mountains. A traveling merchant named Finn brought you here on his boat from the capital. Can you tell me anything about what happened in the capital? Do you know that goat lady on the bed there? She is badly injured. Nothing. Was she attacked by an animal? She is covered in bite marks and scratches. Anything at all? Ooh. It's okay. We'll keep a close eye on her. Hello, Hazel. Yes, Percy? Just came in to check on our guests. Oh, hello there. You seem to be doing better. Nice to meet you. I'm Percy, the mayor's assistant. Speaking of, the mayor is eager to meet you, but he is currently asleep. Hazel, how are you? How are your other patients doing? Not good. She lost a lot of blood from her injuries. I should get back to her. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't let me keep you, Hazel. We were all shook to hear about what happened. From what Finn described last night, the capital is not safe to return to. We discussed what what to do with you and the great lady, the goat lady. Finn chipped off his morning to try to find what happened. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. Grimshire is a small community. We work together and support each other. 
There's an old abandoned farm on the western edge of the village that you're welcome to stay in. Follow me. I'll show you the way there. Very humble? <laughs> Definitely mixed feelings right off the gate. I do love the art style though. That door over there leads to the village root cellar. We stockpile food in there for emergencies and to survive the winter. Here's the general store. It's run by a lovely stout family. Uh, the Hawthorns. Finn, the stout that brought you here, is also a Hawthorn. This way to the old farm. They all have hearts next to their names, so romanceable. We'll explore that. This is it? Isn't it great? A nice home in the countryside. This old farmhouse has been abandoned for a long time. There are some things in the chest inside to help you get started. Feel free to start cle clearing out the land and starting a farm. We mostly rely on trade and food around here, so everyone in town will be eager to purchase any extra food you don't need. Oh, right. You should introduce yourself to everyone once you get a chance. They already heard the news that you'll be staying here. Everyone was also talking about preparing gifts to help you get settled in. Well, I've got a lot of work to do before Theo wakes up. Bye for now. Alright, so we're just... Squatter's rights. Okay. W sad. Uh, run a shift. Pause it, escape. Cool. We do have a day-night cycle. It's 6.20 right now. Interactions and tools. Interact on things with a spacebar, left-click, or A button on controller. Hold control key or R3 on controller to open your tool wheel. Mouse over a tool, select it on the controller. Uh, yep. Use key or E keys or... Uh, Select on the toolbar. Use the selected tool or item with the F key. Right mouse, click, or X on controller. Cool. The use tool is F. What is this? Hammer? Till? It's a till. Interesting. And running is toggleable. Base. Asparagus seeds, cabbage seeds, jerky never spoils. Awesome. Water pump? Pumps water from ground and dis distributes through connected pipes. Interesting. Irrigation pipe. Use carry water from irrigation pump. Wooden fence and stone path. Cool. And then we have recipes, too. Okay. But I bet these spoil. Oh, interesting. And then bed? Never mind. Interesting. Farming. While at your farm, use the hoe on the ground to create a dirt plot for farming. You can remove a dirt plot by using the pickaxe. Plant seeds on the dirt plot by using a seed bag. Remember to water your seeds every day. Uh, plants do not grow without water. Rain can water your plants for you. You can add compost to dirt plots, which will improve the soil quality. Plants grown in high quality soil have a chance of producing a bigger harvest. Harvest plants when they are ready. Some plants can go to seed if you continue watering them after they are harvestable. This is a great way to get more seeds. Okay, so some plants, if you just don't harvest them, will just give you more seeds. Oh. So we don't have to be reliant on stores then. 
We can grow on dirt plots. They will prevent you from uh, prevent your plants from growing, even if you've watered them. Interact on the weeds to remove them without damaging your plants. Cool. Right. How do I do this again? E. No. Space. I already forgot the controls. What am I doing? I want to till the earth. F. Why is it F? That's okay. I can live. Got a weed. Okay. So I have... I should make a few more holes. I got the space. an energy meter. So it looks like my only challenge here is the day-night cycle? Perhaps? Ooh, stroll wheel works. But it feels backwards. Ah! Hello? Yeah, I'm I'm actually doing my YouTube -y gamey thing right now. Uh yeah, hour or two. Yep, sounds good. Love you too. Bye bye. Oh, sorry about that. Mom's am I right? <laughs> Let's plant some asparagus. Interest. Okay, so it highlights the available plots. Interesting. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. I think we should probably put that down. Irrigation. Oh. Well, interesting. Basic water pump supplies a 5x5 five five area around it with water, but it does not water the dirt. Attach pipes to the water. Wait, wait, wait. Attach pipes to the pump to water the dirt. Interact on the pump to turn on the water. Oh. Interesting. Type pipes can be placed outside of a pump's range. Pipes will not water an area if they're outside of the pump's range. Oh, wait. Okay, so they can be placed outside of the range, but they won't water. Got it. Pipes will not water an area if they're outside of the pump's... That's just a picture. Got it. Interesting. Well, I wish I, wish I knew that before I place down my my thing oh that's obnoxious can I pick you up can I destroy you please uh, okay well don't think I can do anything oh ho it works So I want, I want this as close to the crops as possible then. I want it right there. I see. And then I just want pipes everywhere. Yeah. Interesting. So that's left click, not F. I I do really like the system. Um, I need to make more pipes. Oh, I need. Uh, 
How did I not notice the farm up here? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that's dead then. So, let me... Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I do have, I do have stamina. Right. Oh, it's dead. How do I undead them? Corn, dead. Okay. Don't know what to do about this knowledge. Oh, I got radish seeds though. Ready in one day. Cool. So I do have some free food here. I'm not sure how to get rid of dead plants. So that seems like a future problem. I'm not sure how, how long it takes for plants to die. Um, if it's only a couple of days. We just inherited this house, right? So like... It doesn't bode well for us. If crops only take a day to die, it means that the last occupants were, uh, were killed pretty recently. Again, I don't think that it's that type of game, but like, you never know. There seems to be a thing right there. Might just be a stick though. Ooh, a sign. Old farm. Forest. Pretty sure. A morel. Oh, there's harvesting. Rowan and Willow. Okay. We just do some home invasion. Hello. The name's Wallace. My family and I run a small furniture store. Business is slow here. But everyone in the village is so nice and it's a great place to raise a family. Here, a welcome present for you. My wife and I built it. Simple table. I, I heard you'll be taking over the old farmhouse. The place has been abandoned for a long time now. It'll be nice to see it being put to use. Cool. Oh, hello. So you're the new resident. Welcome. I'm Willow. We're blessed with a beauty of nature here it is very peaceful out in the forest before you go here let me give you something fancy stone flooring all right hey how cool another fox is moving in welcome friend nice to meet you i'm rowan the local carpenter I hear you'll be moving in the old farmhouse if you need your house repaired or an upgrade then talk to me before i forget here a welcome gift for you Ooh, awesome got an axe. The old axe isn't sharp enough to cut all the trees around here, but it should let you collect some firewood. I got a job for you. If you're interested, come speak to me again. Hey, Zeep. I've been super busy with a few carpentry projects. Can you gather some logs for me? Is that old axe I gave you cut down a few trees? Keep in mind that some trees are too tough for that blunt axe to cut down. Cool. Yeah, I can go chop some trees. Um, where's my axe? Wait. Hold up. Wait, there's a way to do it. Oh, was it tab? No. Oh. I wish I had read the instructions better. Control. Got it. Oh, Scythe, that probably would have done the dead crops, too. I'm learning. Oh, and I just have a watering can, too. not sharp enough. You got it. Okay, so some items you just need to click on. Because E doesn't, or F doesn't seem to work for 
all items. It seems like F is the go-to way to um, chop down stuff and like water stuff. Ah, so cozy. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know if you were here when I was explaining the game, but it's a mixture of Stardew Valley and Graveyard Keeper. So, we don't know what happened. The capital city is on fire. Um, someone rescued us, brought us here. Um, and they have a, a food shelf where where we bring any extra food that we're not using so they can stockpile and prepare for winter. Um, but it sounds like there's two more mouths to feed now, so I'm not sure how, how well we're going to deal with that situation. Gives me Harvest Moon vibes. Yeah, I've never actually played Harvest Moon. Um, I was always told that Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon are very similar. But I don't really have a frame of reference for that. Oh, hi. I'm Leela. Nice to meet you. I live at the tavern with my dad. The place gets pretty lively at night. Uh, it's the most popular spot in the village. Alright, I'll have to find the tavern soon. Hi, I'm Rose. I work at the herbalist assistant. As the herbalist assistant. Are you feeling better? Stop by Hazel's house if you're ever feeling unwell. We'll fix you up. Yeah, I like it. It's a very, very nice cozy vibe. Ooh, blacksmith? Well met. I'm Gruff, the blacksmith. Welcome to Grimshire, friend. We're a small community, but we look out for each other. Here, I have something useful for you. The pickaxe isn't the sharpest. But we'll get the job done. Come talk to me again once you've settled in. I have a favor to ask. Yeah, what's your what's your thing? Hey friend, about that favor. Can you get me five copper ores? I've been too busy smelting ore at my furnace lately. Have you been in the mine yet? I didn't know there was a mine. The entrance is to the left of my house. You can break the walls in the mine with a pickaxe. Look for veins of uh, of ore in the walls and dig them out. Uh, keep an eye on your stamina. And if your night vision isn't as good as mine, you can place some lanterns. The mine goes deep. Look for a hole with a ladder on each floor to descend. The deeper you go, the greater the treasure. Okay, so it's still... It, it, the mine sounds very Stardew Valley-esque, where you go down in the mine. Okay, night's coming, though. I have no idea what happens at night. As this is the first day. You gathered all the logs already? Thanks. Here, let me give you a, uh, this coop blueprint. Place it anywhere on your farmland, then gather the required materials. A coop can be used to keep and raise small critters. Have you seen the... bluggies in the forest around my house? Cute, right? Once you've built a coop, try taming a wild bluggy. I hear they love root vegetables. Interesting. So we're animals that keep animals as pets. But it's okay, they're not sentient. They're they're bluggies, of course. Ooh. Tadpole? Can't seem to do anything with that. I bet there's fishing in this game. They talk like Animal Crossing. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> kind of cute. I really like it. Oh, what is this? Hey there, friend. My name is Taro. I live in the marsh with my brother Kay. Kai? It was nice to meet you. You should come over and hang out with some, with me sometime. I saw a huge fish jump out of the water this morning. I swear it was bigger than my head. Okay. I can't... I can't rummage through their stuff, though. Can't sleep in their bed. Wait. Smoking hut. A building useful for smoking meats to preserve them long term. Is this a shop? Wait, did I stumble upon a shop? 
Yeah. Yeah, because she has... Oh, she's loaded. Interesting. Okay, it's nighttime. I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't even know where my house is right now. Old farm. Marsh. Awesome. Do I stay out longer? Do I just test it? Okay. Um, I'm thinking... We now know how to water stuff. So I think we should probably... Okay, I can refill it. Should probably water the rest of these. And we do have more stamina. Let's see if we can harvest this stuff. Um, that's dead. Also dead. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get any goodies off of this. That's still alive. Dead oats. You you can't see that, can you? I don't know how to adjust that. Do I want to go up? Could probably go up. Just a- Ah! That's not it. How do I do that? Aha! Ooh, now I'm floating. I'm not quite sure if I like that or not. But now you can see everything. So that's still alive. That's still alive. Corn is dead. Chamomile's dead. Hmm. We are able to save some of this, which is nice. Um. But most of it, I think we might just have to retry for next spring. I'm actually not sure how long the seasons are. Um. See, the planting season might have just started. Or it's almost over. I have, I have no frame of reference. Hmm, my stamina is running pretty low. I'm not sure what's going to happen once it hits zero. Ideally, I just get tired and I can't do anything. Um, worst case scenario, I pass out and I lose stuff. Okay. Zero. Okay, it just won't let me do anything. Go in the house. Rimshire Valley Daily, uh, Spring 2, Tuesday. Uh, we have a new resident moving into the old abandoned farm. Let's all give them a warm welcome. Percy. Today's forecast, sunny. Root cellar report. Four days of food stocked. Oh, I don't love that. Okay, so vegetarian option, four days of food stocked. Um, carnivore, four days of food stocked. Zero days of food spoiled. Oh. Oh, you have to be concerned about spoilage too. A hundred percent villagers fed. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that. See, we probably can't build that right away. Um... Jerky sounds like the best option. Like, food that doesn't spoil? Like, yeah, we should be making a ton of that. I suppose there are also uh, vegetarians, though, that live here. Morning. The goat woman passed away last night. Hazel and Rose did their best to save her. 
but she succumbed to her injuries. Priest Edgar is holding a funeral for her on the mountaintop. Maynard Thiel will also be speaking afterward. I'll show you the way. Follow me. Greetings. I'm aware that you did not personally know her, but you still have my condolences. To lose your home suddenly, and to lose your last connection as well, it must be difficult. If you ever need someone to listen to your worries, then feel free to visit me. Percy, thank you for escorting her here. Everyone, please gather around. It's time. Today is a sad day. We are gathered here to send off the essence of a stranger, someone whose name we do not even know, whose arrival to our village brought troubling news. But let us not dwell upon that right now, and instead focus our thoughts on this individual. Although we do not know her, we know of daughters, sisters, mothers, and friends. Focus your thoughts on the individuals in your life and that bring you joy and comfort. Now, take those emotions and express them to her. Let her feel the love in your soul. Let her go forth with the comfort of a village. May we all pass surrounded by those who love us and care for us. As she does now, let her soul pass into nature, and her ashes nourish the earth for the benefit of the living, so that the world will be just a little better. Now, Mayor Theo would like to speak. Thank you, Edgar. That was a lovely service. I'm sure the whole village has heard the, har the harrowing news, but let me clarify the situation. According to our friend, Finn, several days ago the capital was engulfed in flames and violence. Unfortunately, Finn didn't have time to investigate as the docks were burning down shortly after he rescued two people. We do not know the extent of the damage, but it is troubling news. Finn disembarked our, our port the same night he arrived in hopes of discovering more information. We'll hopefully know more when he returns. In the meantime, let's be there for each other and think of ways to protect and strengthen the village. That is all. Ooh, day two. Wow, yeah, it really doesn't, uh... That's a good introduction. I do like that. Now, where am I? I, I haven't gone this way yet. Juniper tree. This doesn't even cost energy. What am I doing? Don't do that. No junipers, it seems. I must be really high up because it's the second day of spring and there's snow on the ground. What are you? Raspberry bush. All right. Oh. So shaking trees can just give you wood. I'm assuming one shake is all that it takes, and anything more than that is just a wasted shake. I'm not really sure. Ooh, seeds? Yeah. Okay, so down is the forest. What do we have over here, though? I believe there's another path over this way. Grimshire. Mountain. Mountain. 
Who are you? A new person in the village. Oh my god, hi. My name is Jack. Nice to meet you. Have you met the my best friend, Poppy? She's the coolest. Welcome, stranger. I'm Edgar. I'm the preacher at the temple. I was saddened to hear about what happened at the capital. These are troubling times. Don't hesitate to tell me if you need anything. What are you? You're of actual tree of life. Wait, more furniture. Popping furniture. I thought that the... Are you different? Are you a different person? America Hopper. My husband and I run the furniture store here. We have a rotating stock for sale every day. Mayor Theo said you'll be staying for a while, so I got you something. It's a crafting bench. Set up wherever you like. Uh, gather some supplies and get crafty. Well, don't be a stranger. Feel free to stop by and just to say hi every now and then. Okay, so we have a group of people that make furniture and then they just sell furniture? Because it looks like they also make furniture. Jack held on to me so tightly during the funeral. I'm worried that it might have affected him. Ah, uh, you can't kick the ball. I failed her. Wait. Okay. What an introduction. Can I buy stuff? I can buy stuff. So decadent. I do like I do like the idea of a new bed. I literally have no money at all. Okay. I got twenty. I got twenty monies. Oh, is this the tavern? Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Wait, does it say yummy, yummy? Or... Salad with chopped fruits. You had a chance. You had an opportunity. You could have taken it. Interesting. So these are... This is a house. This is... I mean, it's a tavern, but... Interesting. So I wonder if new people move in there, or it looks like some of those rooms are already occupied. Seems like papers are just kind of thrown about here. Can't interact with any of them though. Book? That uh, seems out of place. I feel like I should be able to click on that. Oh, and then is this like a little greenhouse? The houses seem pretty big here, so I... Would imagine I'd be able to do that in my house someday. Iger's speech was beautiful. I hope it helped that poor woman's soul. Oh, let me talk to you. Good morrow, my friend. I'm Logan Grayson. Wordsmith. And critter grooming extraordinaire. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. A flicker of life extinguishing the night. Leaving only darkness. Oh, sorry about that. I was thinking about our departed guest. Oh, you're adorable. Hello, I'm Oliver. It's nice to meet you. 
I helped my uncle Dudley with the general store here. Sorry, after this morning, I, I'm not up to talking today. What do we have in here? My name is Rufus. I'm the local shepherd. My son and I have produced the finest wool in the province. We also sell ranch supplies if you are interested in raising some critters yourself. Welcome to the village. You'll be safe here. We watch out for each other. Yeah, keep saying that. You know, you all keep saying that. Baby and I were watching Jimmy Neutron earlier. The nostalgia. It's such a good game. Like, okay, it's a bad game, right? Like, it's kind of a bad game. But, like, it's such a good game. I really enjoy playing that one. Hello, I'm Burley. I work at the docks with my parents. Speaking of, my dad was preparing something for you. Have you talked to him yet? No, uh, is this your dad? How are you doing? Have you recovered fully? Don't overwork yourself. Have you met everyone in the village yet? They're all excited to meet you. I don't know. Is there... Oh, what do we have here? We have birthdays. Oh. Oh, I like can I can I go to the next? No, it only shows me the current season. Greeted. Oh. Interesting. So it tells you their marital their marital status, so they're single. I like that it lays out everything. Like uh I don't think Stardew Valley ever did this one quite right, where like it doesn't, Stardew Valley doesn't tell you their favorite gifts or their dislikes. I think you have to find that out on your own. I really like this system. Are you gonna play the one with Jimmy ne Negatron? Yeah, yeah, I think I will. Um, I believe there's another one too. So I never played Jimmy Negatron before, um, and I haven't. I think there's another PC version, um, I think Attack of the Twonkies, but maybe that one was just a Game Boy Advance release. Um, but I feel like I should play the second one, um, if I can get my hands on it. I think it's a pretty similar, uh, situation. It's classified as Abandonware, so you can... It's not... Ill, it's not legal, but it's not illegal to just download it because like I'm willing to pay for it But no one is out there Willing to take my money for it. So it, it's a free download uh, Technically, but yes, I do kind of want to play the other ones So this is really interesting so it does show you who you've talked to today so it tracks it very nicely. And then we do have a map. And we don't have any fog of war either, so I do enjoy that as well. I wish there was a way to hide completed quests though. I can see that might get obnoxious in the future. Coming soon, critters. Oh, there is fishing. There's a lot of fish already added. So I just know all the plants. I guess that makes sense, right? Like, I'm a farmer, so I, I need to know the plants. But the fish... Fish are a different beast. Use to carry water. How do I craft that? I'm not sure how to craft it. Interesting. Cool. Hello, Zeep. After this morning, are you alright? Yeah, I think I'm fine. Greetings, I am Adeline Sablewood. I am the caretaker of Baron Renard Silverwood's estate. In my free time, I like to collect and study anything I can get my paws on. Let me know if you find anything interesting. I can pay you well for it. 
Oh, right. I have something for you here. Hope you like it. Greenhouse wallpaper. Neat. I do like that. Um, I think that's everything over there. Now, how do I do this thing? I believe there's... Is it a creator dashboard? Screen manager? Aha! Uh -huh. Uh, Neat. I can do stuff. Oh, Jack. Are we going to die too? Oh, you sure are, buddy. You sure are. Oh. Hi, I'm Poppy. Where do you come from? Are you staying here now? What's your name? Do you have a family? What's your favorite color? Do you like beetles? Why did we bury... Why did we burn her? Was she just sleeping? Oh, buddy. Wait. Okay. Jack held on to me, so... Oh, yep, that's right. Oh. There's not a lot in here. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll put, I'll put that in there. Um, and, uh, well, I want those. Uh, I want those too, though. But now we have four days of vegetables and five days of the meat. So I think we're doing pretty well. I think. I'm not really sure. It feels like we're doing well. Hello, I'm Wilfred. Nice to meet you. I run a humble fish store on the docks. Visit us whenever you need fishing supplies or a fresh caught tasty treat. Oh, I have a gift for you. This old rod has seen better days, but I think it still has plenty of life left in it. Come talk to me again if you want to learn more about fishing. I've got a challenge for you. Can you catch a, a white fish? There's plenty of them in the water around the docks. Stand near him, line up your shot, and ca then cast out. Wiggle your line a bit to get their attention, then wait for them to strike. When the bobber goes underwater, pull. It may take you a few tries, but I believe in you. Yes, sir. -y. Cool. Fishing quest. Hello, I'm Greta. I'm this village's, village's fisher. I heard that you will be staying in the village. I'm sorry about what happened to your home. Oh, right. I have a welcome gift for you. Here you go, hun. It's a drying rack. Set this outside in the sun to dry preserve things. Like fish. It's a good idea to preserve your food to prevent it from spoiling. Right, like the jerky. The jerky never spoils. So I think we should be drying everything, really. Fruits, veggies, people, um, you name it. I think, I think this is a great idea. So, control. Yeah. Going to boats. Okay. Use your fishing rod near the water. Change your fishing rod to cat. Charge your fishing rod to cast it out farther. Left is wiggle, right is reel in slash catch. Wiggle your rod to attract a fish's attention. You'll know when you've got the fish in, fish's attention when a exclamation point appears above it. You can scare it away if you wiggle it too much. Press reel in slash catch when the fishing bobber is beneath the water to catch the fish. Rare fish are harder to catch. Fair enough. I see. Oh. Uh. Was that too soon? I think that was too soon. X is cancel. Hopefully Finn brings back some good news soon. 
The whole town is on edge. Have I talked to you? Oh wow, it's almost nighttime already. Yeah, nice to see you again. You're looking better now. My name is Dudley. I run the general store with my family. Stop on by if you need something. You got it. I want you. I want... Come on. Come on. Go underwater. Yeah. Got a white fish. Basic fitch. Alright. Let's let's do let's do the thing. Wait, was that the guy? Was that the guy that was uh outside? I think it was the guy. This guy? You did it! Awesome. I declare you a real fisher now. Don't try competing with me though. Here, let me pay you for this fine specimen. Awesome, I got a different fish. Cool. Hopefully Finn brings back some good news soon. Yep. The wiggle. The wiggle. Meh. Cool. Got a rock bass. Wiggle. Another wiggle. Oh, didn't get it. This is for the computer as well? Yes, so this is on Steam right now. Uh, it is free. Uh, well, kind of. It's it's in demo, so it's uh, still in early access. Um, but right now it is free. Uh, Grimshire. Um, I believe the planned release date is... Oh. Uh, next year, so, uh, 2025. Hmm. I can't seem to catch any more fish. It is getting late, and I'm still not sure what happens if I stay out past my bedtime. So, I'll just go home now and set some stuff up. So I do also have a full inventory. Oh. Oh no, I didn't water my crops. I don't know what happens if I do don't... Do that. I don't know if I get like a grace day or if they all just die. Okay. Didn't switch to my watering can right away. That was strange. Um, and I suppose some of this stuff is probably done, right? Rash is already. This still has a day left. Two days. We do have eight radish seeds, so I think we should be fine on those. Because we can, even if they're ready, we can just keep on watering them and then some of them will give us seeds. Uh, and radishes for sure give us seeds. Uh, this is, this is the drying rack. Correct? I want it right here though. I want it right there. Drying rack. Due to the drying rack, place an item on the rack. The progress bar will appear above the item. You can tell if an item is done uh, outside of the drying rack if its sprite has changed. Cool. So I do have interesting. I can dry mushrooms. There are magnifying glasses on these, and I'm not sure. How do I get to research item? What does that mean? I also have a carpenter's bench. So... Where does this go? Right here, maybe? I don't want to block anything. Eh? No? Maybe I put it down here. Yeah. 
do we have? So this is our crafting stuff, right? I can't research this, I don't think. Okay. So it tells me the recipe on the right, so I need copper for that? Okay, cool. Yeah, I can I can live with that. I do want to get rid of this tree though. Not strong enough. All right, that's fine. Okay, the the clock up there seems to be flashing red. I'm not sure what to expect here. Let's try a fish and a beet. I do think I want to stay out past uh past my bedtime just to see what happens. I imagine it's some sort of punishment system, but I'm not quite sure what. Because everyone is so friendly here, right? I can't imagine they're going to steal stuff from me. Right? No one would ever do that in this lovely town. Hawthorn seeds. Okay. So at 11.55 sharp. Okay. So yeah, uh, four days of food, five days of food. Nothing spoiled. And it's storming. That means I don't need to feed anything. Ooh. Can't pick up because there's... There are items inside. Interesting. I do like that as well. Uh, probably don't need most of these on me right now. I'll probably sell these. Morning. Don't mind him. Mayor Theo isn't a morning person. Anyways, we're here to talk to you about our community root cellar. It's a lovely cave in the village that keeps naturally cool all year long. We use it to store food for emergencies and stock up food for winter. Hmm, food. We're worried about recent news affecting trade. Grimshire is a small village and the only food farmable land is this area here. There we go. So usually we trade for most of our food, but until Finn gets back, we don't know what is happening. Oh no, what if we can't get a hold of important, imported cheeses? He's right. We're in uncertain times right now, so we must be prepared for whatever happens. As such, we're asking that you make full use of this land to produce food. Otherwise, we'll all starve terribly and die. That's the undertext, the, the subtext. I know that is a lot to ask, so Mayor Theo and I have decided to waive your taxes. Alright, let's go. My tax income. <laughs> no more will you have to pay tax on your land, purchases, or even sales. Oh, and don't even worry about keeping track of how much food is in the root cellar. I publish that in my daily newsletter. You write a newsletter since when? The last several years. Regardless, follow us to the root cellar. We'll give you a tour. Uh, usually it'll force you to sleep. Yep, it sure did. Uh, come on, see if you just kind of feed a whole village. It's nothing. It's, it'll be, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Theo, we got a busy day. He's asleep. Standing up? Impressive. Come on, let's leave without him. It looks pretty empty to me. Here it is. This is the root cellar. It may not look like much, but we can pack quite a bit of food in here. To use this place, we just put any edible food you have in that chest. I'll then organize the root cellar and record everything. If we're getting low on food, I'll post about it in my daily newsletter. But don't forget to read it. 
please keep in mind that we have both herbivores and carnivores in the village. The carnivores can eat fish, meats, eggs, milk, or cheese. The herbivores can eat fruits, mushrooms, vegetables, grains, or nuts. One more thing. If you can, try to donate preserved foods. Uh, canning, pickling, drying, smoking, anything you can do to make the food last longer. Any fresh food stored in here will spoil eventually. We don't... We won't make it through a real emergency without a good stockpile of preserved food. That's it. I know you'll be a great help to the community. Here are some seeds to help you get started. I know you don't have any livestock yet for meat sources, so I suggest going fishing for now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to do. Don't worry, just just feed everyone. It's fine. It'll be fine. Oh, another person of band. Lovely. Boom. It's so much fun. With the power to ban people at will. Oh, my crops are being watered, so I guess I'll just fish. Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. I got seaweed. I'm gonna go swimming around. That's okay. That's how seaweed be. Sometimes it just be what it do. I do like that you don't need to use bait for fishing. Got a Burbot. Heard it tastes like lobster. Interesting. I don't think I've been in here yet. Ah, oh, this is the mayor's house. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for you. What happened at the capital? Then said he was asleep in his boat when he heard yelling and howling. And then the smoke from the fire prevented him from seeing or smelling anything. You're lucky to make it out alive. Oh should meet everyone in the village. We don't get new residents often. Everyone is excited to meet you. Before I forget, I know you arrived here with nothing. Here are some coins to help you get started. Sorry, I think your son just did a teleport. Wait, come back. Come back, child. I had a dream last night that I was eating a delicious dish served by a world-renowned chef. Then, Theo showed up and ate the dish. I think that dream gave me whiplash. Yes. Ooh, more seaweed. A seaweed edible. I mean, I, I, I love seaweed, but like, in the game, is it edible? Jiggle, jiggle. Come on. Oh, too much. Yeah, I think that one's too far away. You know, probably fishing in a thunderstorm might not be the best idea. Oh, plum trees. Oh, I can plant trees. You know, speaking of plant, I should plant all the crops I have on me. Or people will die. Horrifically. And slowly. Okay, so that's already tilled earth. So once it's tilled, I don't think it needs to be tilled again. If I'm picking up what it's laying down here. I should figure out a systematic way of doing this. 
because these are ready to harvest, but I don't think I want to harvest them. I think I'll let those ones stay a few days, and then these ones I will harvest. So I want I want seeds, right? Right? So let's leave those ones be. My cabbage has three days, my asparagus has three days. Cool, cool. Now what about you? You're still working. I want more drying racks. I think that's that's gonna be what makes me or breaks me. 25 wood. I, I believe that's the drying rack. So let's use up as much of our energy as possible right now. And just gather a whole bunch of wood. Cause I, I, we, we have a few days to collect food. But I feel like we're, we're going to want to be on top of that before we have to be, right? I should get a stronger axe. I'm out of energy. Yeah. Ooh. Can I craft anything when I'm out of energy? I don't know how to craft that. Okay, okay. I can make a fence, though. I haven't found a reason to make a fence. I don't think that's going any further. I think, I think since it's raining, that's just going to be stuck for now. Okay, so, warning, three days of food left. Important village meeting will be held this morning in front of the mayor's residence, Percy. It's gonna rain again. Okay, that's good for crops, though. You know, I haven't eaten anything. I guess I'm not gonna starve, right? Morning. Mayor Theo is holding a town meeting. He wants everyone to attend. So I came to get you. Well, let's go. We won't want to miss it. <laughs> Hello everyone, and thank you for coming. Now. Are we safe? I'm worried. Yes, we... Have you heard back from Finn yet? No. What are we gonna do? Something bad is happening out there. Everyone, calm down. Let me talk. Yes, we are safe. No, Finn has not come back yet. But, Percy and I have been talking, and we've come up with some ideas of how to prepare for the worst. As a start, we talked to Zeep yesterday about using her land to produce food. I'm pretty sure I did change the pronouns, but that's fine. Um, and keep the root cellar stocked with food. We also spoke with Hazel and Rose. They've come up with some ideas on how we can better prepare. Please hear them out. Thank you, Mayor Theo. One thing you should know is that even with two herbalists, it still takes us a lot of time to gather supplies and prepare medicine. Hazel and I have come up with two ideal ideas to help us save time gathering medicinal ingredients. We're asking for villagers uh, for the village's help, as we will not be able to build these projects on our own. My idea is to build a herb garden. It will help to provide us with a steady supply of herbs. My, my idea is to build a mushroom hut. It's a riskier project, as neither of us are knowledgeable about mushrooms, but it will allow us to pr produce edible mushrooms as well as discover new medicinal treatments. Thank you, Hazel and Rose. Since we needed everyone in the village to help with these projects, we will vote on which one should be built. Oh. If you support Hazel's idea, then stand to the left. If you support Rose, then stand to the right.
I'm thinking mushrooms, right? Like, I'm not sure about the medicinal properties of mushrooms, but like, you got like hen of the woods, you got chicken of the forest, you have um, mycelium for days just everywhere. Yeah, let's do, let's do rote. Let's do um, mushrooms. Let's see. The project with the most votes is Rose's Mushroom Hut. Thank you, everyone. We'll set up a donation box by Hazel's house. Please contribute what you can. This will help with the digging. I want to help with the plants or the mushrooms. Oh, I'll start cutting down some trees for lumber. I have a bunch of old stones that can be used as building materials. Thank you, everyone. All right, let's get started. Remember to place donations in the box by Hazel's house. Once all the materials have been gathered, we'll start building. I really like this game. I... It really does a good job at tugging on the heartstrings really early in the game. I don't think that's easy to do. Like, I don't want any of my people to die. Got a perch. Perchy perch. Ooh. 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 You gotta ask. Gasp. Ah, <laughs> oh, the game's just fun. It's a good game. I already really want the full game to come out. Wait, can I... that's not a thing. Can I interact with that? No. I haven't even started mining yet. Nope. Got to be faster than that. Silver Bream is breaming. <laughs> This game is dumb. I love it. And I do like the uh, the Animal Crossing style of fishing because you can see the different sides. I like that. Like it, it, it's really taking a bunch of different aspects from different games and just combining them. And I think it's doing a really good job. I mean, definite. Definite style points for sure. Where's the best fisher that I've ever seen? Even my parents were impressed. Aww. Despite not liking fish, I love liking. I love living by the water. Something about it calls me. So you don't like fish? Did that update in my thing? Bur burly. Dislike gifts. You don't like fish. Hmm. So maybe I do have to just give you something. Hey, buddy. Do you like... These? Or radish? Thanks. You like mushrooms? Another <laughs> gift? I can't accept this. You can and you will. No, that doesn't seem... I thought for a second that her, um, bar was increasing. It, it wasn't. Okay, well, that's fine. Ooh, is that a plum? Can I, can I take that plum? I want plum. Yeah! Alright. Sir, would you like a radish? Thanks. Hello, welcome to our humble store. Buy anything and sell a little bit of everything here. I'm busy filling out an order form for Finn. If you need anything, use the catalog. It's at the front counter. I do like the catalog system. I think that's a nice touch. Salt. 
Can I just eat salt? Just like... Ah, uh, whoop. I guess we'll find out. Accidentally bought it. Honey. Vinegar. Cooking oil. Compost. That might be important. Carrot seed. Spring one, summer seven. Okay. Spring one, winter eight. A grass seed. Okay. Let's buy some carrots, I think. How much are these? Ten each? I do have seaweed. Spoils in four days. But that does increase stamina, though. I don't think I need any any seeds or any uh, maple tree seeds. Hmm. Spoils in six days. I'm trying to figure out what I should do here, because I I'm fishing, right? So I'm getting I'm getting meat for storage. But I should really be focusing on plants as well because those take way more time. And of course I didn't water anything today either. So let's no, no. Let's harvest these ones. And then I'm thinking this corner over here we maybe go for seeds? We'll fill it out, right? Like we'll we'll take inventory, see how many seeds we have left. And then work from there. Okay, let's pump this once. Refill our can. And then get the ones that we couldn't get earlier. Beautiful. Asparagus is going to be done in two days. We should go mining. Let's go find the mine. I believe it's up north here. Oh, we should really get rid of some of these trees as well. Oh, I didn't check on the drying rack, did I? Drying rack first, and then go mining. Oh, no. Okay. So then these are just done. And then let's throw some fish on there. I can't take it off. Well, it's on there now. And of course, now it's going to start raining after I just finish watering everything. Never spoils. Okay, so dried food will never spoil. Never spoils. And it gives twice as much stamina, too. Awesome. That's super good to know. So, I'm thinking any dried food, let's hold on to indefinitely and put it into storage. Anything that's not dried and will spoil, um, let's let's take that into the mine. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to need it, right? For our own energy. Ooh, a mushroom. Have more mushrooms too. Oh, I do need to check out ne uh, next to the mayor's house though. For the donations. Oh. Oh, hello. Wild Bluggy. Bluggy Blue. To tame a wild critter, first you will need to have built a coop or barn on your farm. Next, you will need to find one in the forest, mountain, or marsh. Each critter variety has their own favorite food item. Feed them their favorite food to tame them. Okay, well, I can't do that then. I don't have uh, the coop. The critter loves you. You want to send them to the farm? Yes. No available coop space. Okay, cool. Are we just best friends now? Eat. Well, that's not it. F. E. Nope. Right click, left click. C. 
see. It says right there. Got it. Yeah. There we go. Nope. Pick X. Floor zero, I suppose. Mining. Use the pickaxe to break walls in the mine. Some walls contain ore that can be smelted into metal bars. Use your hoe to dig up things in the in the mine floors. Who knows what you'll find? To progress in the mine, find the ladder down to the next floor. Progress in the mine is saved, so you can leave and come back where you left off. Beware. If you break too many walls, the mine can collapse. If it collapses, you will lose all progress and the mine will reset. Interesting. So it really feels like you should just go for the ladder and then run away. to see i'm not sure if you can see on stream there but there seems to be something over here and a whole bunch of stuff over there yeah let's make our way over this way i'm not sure how this is gonna work if i find a ladder i feel like the opposing wall is gonna hide it from view unless i go straight down Okay, and then we have we have this over here too. Is is that not what it told us to do? Hmm. I'll come back to that. Maybe that's not what I thought it was. Or maybe it needs to be an X. And then that's already a dug-up spot. Yeah, so... Chanterelle. Cool, found a mushroom. Because there are items inside. Left click, got it. Lantern, log, and jerky. We found mine jerky. Wonderful. Quartz. I'm not sure what quartz is used for, but I'm lucky to find it. Fiddlehead fern. All right. Wait, do I waste? No, empty swings on a nothing does not waste stamina. That is good to know. I'm not sure if you can hot swap tools. I haven't found it yet if if you can. I'm tired, right. Let's eat some stuff here. Not the best food for stamina what it's gonna have to do for right now I'm not sure how big each floor is though this tin I don't know what's important and what's not silver that sounds valuable let's see probably eat a couple more else yeah also need to watch the time though too. Copper. Okay. Okay. I 
think now is probably a good time to head back. Oh, hi, lead dev of the Grimshire here. Watching for any bugs slash issues, we just pushed this demo update today. Let me know if you have any questions or ran into any weird bugs earlier in the stream. Um, I'm not sure if it was a bug or if it was just me. Um, I chose my pronouns as he, him, and it reverted back to she, her. Um, but I'm not sure if that's actually a bug or if I just misclicked that one. But otherwise, everything seems to be running great for me. It's really enjoyable. I absolutely love the game so far. Um, I... Uh, Acute Owl Studio. Yeah, um, I messaged one of you guys on, uh, TikTok about the game. Um, I'm not sure if that was you or if it was, uh, someone else that works there. But yeah, absolutely love it so far. Let's see, where's my... And M opens up the map. Alright, so... This my house? I think, I think right here's my... My residence. Yep, old farm. Awesome. Oh, we will check our pronoun choice in the vid update later to verify. I'll check the TikTok. Yeah, I mean, I just messaged you something on TikTok. Um, it was very brief. I was wondering if uh, this was the most updated version of the game or not. Um, but yeah, no, it's an amazing game so far. I really do enjoy it. Like, I feel like there's a lot of borrowed aspects of different games, and they all seem to be blending really nicely together. Like, like the fish size, um, I feel like that's very uh, Animal Crossing vibe. Um, yeah, like here and there, there just seems to be a lot of like really cool stylistic choices that I think are doing really well. Unlike my my food shelf, I do need to start stocking that more. News, I want to remind everyone to contribute what you can to the donation box next to Hazel's home, Percy. Okay, it is going to rain again though, so I will gladly take that. Should probably plant some, some seeds today. Probably don't need those on me. Trying to figure out what I can get away with donating and what I should keep. Okay, so those are almost done then. I wonder if this is day based or if it's actual time based. I guess we'll come back and double check that. Ooh, and our plants are starting to flower. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Just, actually, let's just plant the rest of our seeds. May as well, it's already tilled. This is going to drive me crazy. Let's actually square this up a little bit more. I'm not sure if this ground is going to revert back to untilled soil if we don't use it. But I guess that's a little experiment we can we can run here. I highly doubt we're gonna use up all this area in one go. Oh, I do love that you can just hold down right click to plant. Very very nice, good choice. And planting doesn't seem to take any energy either. I do like that too. And then, are these done? I think these might be one day left. I can wait a day. Although, I 
do want to see if any of these seed after they're past due. I think I should run that test on all my crops, actually. Just, like, leave them a day or two longer than they should be. Oh. Okay. Cool. You're one of the few people who discovered you can hold... It's like to plant seeds. Yeah, I am a very lazy person, so any, um... Any shortcuts I find, I will absolutely abuse. Um... Right, that's what I was, I was gonna stockpile the stuff. Yeah, I, I do like, um... What's that called? Quality of life updates and stuff? I really do appreciate that. Spoils in five days. Okay. If I take out... I can just, I can just steal your food. Just steal all your food. Hmm. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So if I if I'm giving you food, I may as well take the perishable food. Yeah. I'll definitely do that. Mm hmm I do like that style. Oh. That's really cool. So if the food shelves are empty... They look empty. I like that a lot. That's really nice. So it actually, like, rewards you emotionally if your food shelf is completely full. And then it adds that, like, emotional stress if it's actually completely barren and empty. I like that. I like that a lot. There's a donation box somewhere. Oh gosh, whose house was it? I don't think this mushroom cottage is ever gonna get grown if I can't find that donation box. Mushroom hut. Help gather all items required for the mushroom hut. Deliver items to the chest next to Hazel's house. Okay, so I do have a decent amount of rock. Definitely not enough. Also definitely not enough wood. That's rose. Oh, I like that too. It points to where the house is. Oh, that's really nice. Rose is up there. I guess, I mean... How many trees can we destroy on the way to Rose's house, though? Now, why would I clear out my own land when I can devalue our neighbor's land? Huh? Stonks. Nope. Oh, but that's... Mmm. That's a plum tree. That gives me food. Don't think I actually do want to chop those down. Oh, but that's a cherry tree. That also gives me food. Wait, I need to actually think this through? Don't love that. <whistles> Juniper is food. Can't chop it down. Fine. Maple. Maple syrup is a luxury. Right now we need wood. Yeah. Juniper, pine. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh. Ruff and Oliver are the best. They collect rocks just like me. You like 
Do you like rocks, buddy? I don't I don't have any rocks on me. I'll make sure I give him a rock. Where am I going? I think I walked right past her house. Rose. Yeah, it's way down there. So go down and cross the bridge. Be right here. Is that a hoe just laying on the ground? Ah, they put a fence. I can't get into their walled garden. Yeah, I got some wood. That's about it, though. Still can't knock down pine. You're looking a lot better. I have a practical gift for you. It's a compost bin. Fill it up with organic material and make compost, which will improve your soil health. It is a great way to turn rot and spoil food into something useful. Plants grow in healthy soil will return the favor and reward you with more tasty food. Cool. Ugh. I don't understand what Jack likes about rocks. That's all he wants to talk about. figure out research. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do you sell stuff? You do? You didn't even advertise that. Or maybe you did. Interesting. Interesting. I'll come back. Oh, oh no. Okay. Hello, dear. Nice to meet you. I'm Prudence. Stop by my home for fresh baked goods whenever you're hungry. I also sell flower arrangements here. Uh, oh, here. Have one on the house. A uh, little splash of color to brighten up the new home. Neat. Flower pot. Oh, green leaf. Right, they're the, the, the herbalists, of course. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Can't use pine. Oh, there's lots of trees here. That I can't chop down, though. Okay, so I can chop down oak and I can chop down maple, I believe. I suppose since we're so close, we may as well just do... Not sharp enough. We may as well do the wood achievement right now. Just so we can get a head start on the, uh, the mushroom patch. Cherry maple. I don't have a shovel, though. Because... Oh, I don't need a shovel. I just keep on hitting them with my axe. Right. What game did I think this was? Oh, that's a big fish, though. That's a real big fish. No. No, come back. Oh. Got a minor carp. Neat. Fish facts. Um, I don't have any of my resources though. Bummer. I could probably finish that one quest with the ore. But I don't have any of the ore on me. Cool. And 
Picking mushrooms does not count towards energy. Good, 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 good. You know, the, the asparagus and stuff really blends in well. And I kind of like that touch. Like, you're, you're foraging, right? You're... They walk as one. Um, no, I like that touch. I don't know if that was on purpose, but I like it. I didn't look at that closely. I don't think I had 55 wood exactly. So that might have been a bug. Let me let me go get one more wood. Amount of energy. Uh, what can I eat? Yeah. Oh, he looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you? Hair? I want a non fruiting tree to chop down and test. Oh, you weren't watching closely enough either? I'll, I'll, I'll test it here. Give me a second. Um, oh. Asparagus. Okay, so seventy five wood can't add any more in eighty three. No, I guess I just happened to hit 75 exactly. Wild. Absolutely wild. Ooh, mushroom. I can't tell if stuff is spawning in or if I'm just missing a bunch of stuff the first few passes. Seems like a lot of stuff from this. <laughs> oh, I don't understand what. Oh, yeah, the rock. Right. Lots of asparagus today, though. I imagine winter's gonna be real rough, though. Hmm, maybe I should really work on a, a greenhouse first. Uh, I visit my sister Adeline every morning for tea and I spend time with her. I must be lonely in that manner all by herself. Do I have routines? Current location mountain. Interesting. Not found. Current location, general store. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty neat, though. Because uh, Stardew Valley doesn't have that. Like, you have to, like, look up on the wiki their current location at any given time. Just another quality of life um, difference. There's one mushroom. There's one mushroom up here. Mine. I don't think I have enough stone. But if I do, I think I want to go drop that off right now. If not, I can just wait for tomorrow. only have 37. Yeah, I can wait for tomorrow. I should probably set up the compost bin, though. See if I can dry anything else. Keep the seeds on me. I'll plant those soon. 
Now, is there a way to move stuff in my inventory, right? Like, I don't want... So I can pick stuff up and just move it. But if I'm... I'll do that. But if I'm in a chest, I can't seem to choose where stuff goes. I could drop off the copper. I'll drop off the copper tomorrow, I think. This done? It is done. Yes. Very good. That's dried, and then these are dried as well. Awesome. And just as we intended, the the herbivores are gonna slowly starve to death. They're fine for they're fine for a few days. Where's the tavern? Right there. Oh, wait. This doesn't show me where they live. This shows me where they are. Oh, I love that. Oh, I absolutely love that. So that big brown house must be the tavern. Um, up and over. Yeah. Hey, farmer. How are your tools treating you? Let me know if you need some repairs. I was out on the water a while back, and I happened to fish upon a... I happened upon a fish bigger than my boat. I wonder what would have... Oh, would have taken to reel them in. Probably a bigger boat, first of all. Goat. If your name's not Billy... Rusty. That's fine. Hello, name's Rusty. I'm the owner and barkeep of the Rusty Bucket. <laughs> Stop by some time for a drink. We have a few seasonal brews to choose from. Oh. Wait, do you? This is just food. Barkeep. On tap. Uh, we have seasonal brews on tap. In fresh baked dishes, place your order in the catalog in the front counter, please. Brews coming soon? Yeah. Just yesterday, I was walking to the summit, searching for guidance. There, I sighted a wild elf beep. Sheep? It looks like sheep. Um, uh, Probably gives wool. It didn't help me. But it sure was adorable. I have a cousin who lives out east. We send mail back and forth to keep in touch. That guy is so sinking rich that he has purchased islands now. Was that a Tom Nook reference? I think that was a Tom Nook reference. Brew's coming soon. I figured. It, it Perfection takes a while. You know, it's... I, I do love the Tom Nook reference. Little dance floor. Hello. That goes to the farm. Um, are you going to have a pro productive crop this season? I sure hope so. Or, oh, those are herbivores, I'll tell you. There's a book. Can I read? I can't read. I want to snoop. I like snooping. Don't have a lot of stamina. 
I have a little bit of time. I want that fish. See a big old fish. Come on. Oh. Oh. Mirror carp. Okay. Not a rude. A rud. Whatever this guy is inspired by rudder. Okay. There are more fish down here. Well, I really probably should focus more on plants. Oh, I'm running out of time. Running doesn't seem to lower stamina. Good, good. Wait a second. This isn't my house. It's down. Down and to the right. Oop. Oop. Make it. Oh, will I make it? Oh. Okay. Ah, news. Spring has sprung. Don't forget to get your garden bed started and get some seeds in the ground. Prudence. Two days left of stock. Okay. I. No. Nope, right. Running is a. Uh, Toggle. Hmm. Probably should lay down the compost bin today. It's still raining though, so that's nice. We needed the rain. Okay. I'm thinking. I probably want to harvest half, right? I'll leave that one. I'll leave that. Okay, that's halfway done. Should be done by later day, maybe tomorrow. I should have enough time to plant these. I'm not even sure what I'm planting. But they're in the ground now. These don't expire right away. I mean, this has eight days. This has eight days. I think for now, I do want to have a stockpile of vegetables just because. And like, as they slowly expire, I could probably like take them out. I might be able to actually dry them as they get closer to their expiration date. Um, that being said, though, I do need to figure out how to make a drying rack. Um, looks like there's some graveyard keeper aspects to this game where you have to research stuff. And I... I have no idea how to research. I walked past the, the thing. Ooh, big fish. Doesn't look great. These all spoil in four days. Hmm. What do I want to give them? That's like all their food. Those apples are like everything. Okay. 
Okay, I think I have a game plan here. Um, I need to go mining, I think. Are there are there levels? I didn't see any Oh that's person, right. Person stuff. Gotcha. I didn't see any sort of like level mechanic. Crafting. The fisher sells dry racks, otherwise you haven't discovered the dry rack crafting recipe yet. Okay, so you make it sound like it's like a piece of paper and you read it once and then you learn it. Okay. Got it. In that case, yeah, let's, um, we don't have much money. But let's go mine some rocks and I think we can, we got stuff. We can probably sell some of this stuff. Maybe the blacksmith even. Yeah. Oh, we don't have much food though either. I just gave away all of our food. Okay. Let's go mine until we have 75 stone. And then we'll sell the access to the blacksmith, finish that one quest, and then buy a bunch more drying racks so we can not starve. We don't need to be running. Yeah. Oh. I see you. I'm assuming I get three warnings. That was probably my first one. Or maybe I get two warnings and the third one is a cave-in. I don't know how soon the next warnings are going to be, though. I did find a few dick spots though. Maybe the ladder's in one of these. Nope. Oh, it's right there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I want. There we go. I don't see any immediate goodies. Although we do have a dig spot. I'll be trying to prioritize those first. Quartz? Yeah. I think I see a crate over here. Out of stamina, right. Ooh, that's good eating. Probably cook that next time. Ooh, jerky. beyond the walls, and I do like that. There we go, I want to go this way. The floor shook. The floor shook on level zero. I'm assuming that's a warning. I don't know if that meant for the floor 
or for the entirety of the mine. Ooh. Oh, that could be for the entire mine. If that's the case, I might be in danger. Might be in real danger. I do have enough stone. I'm just about out of wood. Or, uh, out of, um, food. That's a weird slip. Can I eat you? Mounted fish. Right, you're... Your decoration. I can't eat you. Yeah, now we're eating preserved food. I really want to get more stuff, though. Don't think I see anything to the left, so I guess we're going to go to the right here. Ooh. Ooh, more jerky. There seems to be stuff over here, so let's mine this up and then go to the opening. Probably just gonna drain. Yeah. Copper? Get one more. Yeah. Do really wanna save that though. I can always come back. Not the end of the world. And then where was Walk over here, right? Rose? Yeah. Way over to the right. Oh, actually, the blacksmith is right here. Hey, you got the copper ore. Thanks so much, bud. Let me pay you... Let me pay you for these. Oh, right. Also, I want to give you this smelter. Use this to smelt the ore you find in the mines. Here, I'll also teach you how to make... Irrigation pipes. <laughs> You'll need a copper bar to craft them. Connect these up to the water pump to make watering crops a breeze. Wonderful. Oh, yes, I like that a lot. Okay, so these all can sell for about 10. I can buy for about 50. I don't think I need the lantern, so let's sell the lantern. I don't really need the mounted fish. Um, kind of want to keep on keep a hold of anything that might be useful. I thought I had seventy-five or so. Wait, did my wait? I have eighty-two stone. Oh, oh, they sell for one. Right. Nope, yep, I'm, I'm dumb. Coal is an item, so I would imagine maybe a couple of coal and a couple of um, material to smelt. He didn't mention tools though, so I assume no tools required. Okay, so I have 82. Perfect. So then, hopefully tomorrow I get like a new dialogue saying that that's done. Plants are so fascinating. They can range from beautiful flower to a warty potato. Some develop thorns as a defense, while others concoct deadly poison. Then there's the tallest of plants, trees. And the tiniest of plants, mosses. <laughs> I'm growing a liking to that. <laughs> Ooh, asparagus? Morale. I still have time. I should head back down to the fisherman. 
to see if I can buy any more of those uh, drying racks from him. Let's give those another couple of days, see what happens. Now, I don't think anything's really ready to harvest. We'll let these ones grow and then flower for us. These look done, though. Hmm. But now it's a matter of figuring out what's worth drying and what's not. Because this takes quite a while. Yeah, maybe it's... Maybe it's more beneficial just to, like, throw food at them. Because they, most of their food supplies, like those um, 50 or so apples. Yeah, maybe it's not even worth preserving if they're just going to eat them right away. Or is they going fishermen? Right. Oh, right. Right, right, right. 200. Oh, those are pricey. Those are real pricey. Might be too rich for my blood. I can afford it. I can afford one. Probably just keep on chopping down wood and then selling that. And from what I can tell, the prices seem to be stagnant. Like, uh, they're the same across all NPCs. Because these are still 1 and this is still 20. So as of right now, I don't think it makes a ton of sense to walk further to get a better trade because I think it's all the same from what I can tell at least yeah let's just drop some of these in here spoils in four days I mean, that's four whole days, though, right? So... Let's see... Let's let's take some of these. Um, and see if we can uh, preserve those for a bit longer. Yeah, that should be fine. Or we can use these for our own selfish benefit so we have more energy. Yeah. One of one of those two. Now do different foods provide different different supplies? Right, because I can I can cook food too. I haven't even tried cooking food yet. Cooking food might make it spoil, but I might get more days uh, um, out of fewer ingredients. I'm not sure how to cook yet. I should figure out how to cook. Is there a fire? Hmm, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't found yet. A lot of stuff. Okay, what should we do? What should we do? Let's plant this. Probably... I don't know, right? Yeah. Right, right there-ish. Come on. Sure. Uh, 
we do have a compost bin. I suppose we should put that pretty close to the farm. Right here makes sense, I think. Neat. Oh, and I can compost weeds. Oh, very nice. And this doesn't take any energy, so I can just I can just run around and collect weeds. Yeah. I'm lucky I can actually get wood from this as well. Decent amount of weeds. Have I gone that way? I'm not positive if, if I've. No, I've definitely gone over there, right? Yeah, I must have. Okay, so we have quite a bit of weeds. And to my knowledge, there's no use for them, at least I can see. Three days remain until the compost is ready for use. Okay. Alright, cool. And then in three days, hopefully, we have enough compost to... to put on some of our crops, at least. You have a cooking station in your home. Oh. You're right, you're right. Interesting. And then it separates herbivore. Choose a herb. Choose a fruit. Oh, I see. Interesting. Choose a fruit. Is this not a fruit? Choose me. I don't have any other meats on me though. Hmm. I have a furnace, right? I do. Can I place this in? I cannot place that inside. Let's place it right. I want to be able to see it. Uh, right there. Smelter. To use the smelter, provide it with fuel and an item to be smelted. It'll burn the fuel whether or not there are items to smelt. Cool. Uh, you can tell it... You can tell if any item has been smelted if it appears on the anvil. Neat. Okay. I do see the animation that's working. 177 minutes. Okay. And is that real time minutes? 176. 173. So those are in game minutes then. Okay. Does that say if it's. It doesn't say if it's for one or if it's for all. 77. I assume I need 77 coal in order to completely smelt that. Do I need coal? Or can I use wood? Because if I can use wood, we have a whole lot less of a problem here. I can, I can. That's good to know. So 62. Interesting. I'll come back. Two days of food stocked. My farm better start working fast.
I think I need to click the recipe first. I need to fix that. All good. Oh. Alright. I think that's everyone. Now, could I have your attention? I've just returned from visiting the capital. The city. It's gone. The docks were destroyed, so I couldn't set foot on land. Well, it looked like most buildings were either destroyed by fire or torn apart. The air was heavy with the stench of death. Did you talk to anyone? What happened? I... I saw people moving about, but... They were acting feral. What does that even mean? Were they bandits? Looters? Hold on, everyone. Let me finish. I tried calling out to the people I saw, but they were aggressive and unwilling, were unable to talk. They charged at me like I was prey. If not for their fear of the ocean, I'm sure they would have jumped into the water and attacked me. It was like they were mindless beasts. Crazy. Beasts. Are you sure they weren't just hungry? Everyone, please calm down and let Finn finish. That's not all I found. The capital was devastated. So, I visited a few neighboring towns in hopes of getting answers. Every town nearby was also destroyed, and each one was filled with feral people. Eventually, I found a town unharmed and well defended. It stopped me from docking, from doing anything other than talking, and so we talked. According to them, feral people are a curse or disease. Anyone who is injured by them is fated to become like them. The only way to protect their village was to shutter their walls and kill any who forced their way in. We could not stay there for long. They demanded I leave immediately. And so, I went looking further for other survivors. Most villages were destroyed. Those that weren't denied me entry. There were a few who let me dock, those who were isolated and not aware of the news. They asked me to leave soon after I told them, I, I don't know if I'll be able to trade you food or supplies anymore, I'm sorry. What are we going to do now? Cursed? Diseased? Is this the end of our village too? Everyone, calm down, it's going... Shut up, Theo. Well, that's not nice. You're not our leader. Isn't he literally the mayor? You're a glorified tax collector. Enough. Ooh. I'm sorry for yelling, but you all need to quiet down and listen. Emotions are high, I get that. This is deeply troubling news. I understand your reactions. But we're a community. One that loves and helps each other. We need to come together, not shout at each other. Thank you, Finn, for keeping us informed. You'd risk your life out there. We're getting through this together. It'll be tough, but I'm sure we can survive. Heck, we have a farmer now, but we won't have to trade for food. It's a lot of burden to put on me. Finn, you must be exhausted from your journey. Please come to our place to rest. Everyone else, please go home and process this news. We'll figure something out. Oh. Thanks for playing, that's the end of the demo. But the story will continue in the full game. What will happen to the villagers of Grimshire? Will they survive this disaster or perish? Their actions will determine their fate. Check out the full game when it's released and early access on Steam in 2025. Join our Discord community to share feedback and get development updates. Sarah and Tim. Wow, that was... That was really good. I mean... I've been playing for about two and a half hours. It's a really good demo. Good music, good level design. It's... It's nice. Um, you know, something that I'm kind of interested in... It would be interesting to see if the um, if the mood changes, like the less and less food there is, 
Right, so like there's two different factions of people. There's the carnivores and the omnivores, right? So you have to keep both food supplies up. I wonder if the carnivore's food supply starts dwindling, I wonder if they start become more and more hostile to the omnivores and uh, or herbivores and start maybe eating them. Maybe people start going missing at night. That'd be interesting. Wow, yeah, that's I think I think this game has amazing potential. Um it's really neat. Yeah, so a uh, wish listed on Steam. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, or whatever you do on Twitch, of course. Um, I do have a YouTube channel as well that this will be uploaded to. Um, follow me on there. Follow me on uh, Twitch. And I'll definitely give this another try once another update comes out in the future. Yeah, no, it's a really enjoyable game. Uh, thank you so much for for having a demo out. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, that's it for me. Uh, thank you all and have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in the next stream. Have a good one.